Okay, in this video, I'm going to provide a quick uh, illustration of how you can uh, run hierarchical multiple regression using uh, Stata. So I have data on a set of students with measures of achievement, anxiety, mastery goals, subject matter interests, and gender, coded zero for male, one for female. So uh, to be able to perform hierarchical multiple regression, you're gonna need to uh, essentially download a, and install a package um, for the uh, to the program. Uh, the package is HiReg uh, right here and so what you'll need to do is you'll you'll need to find it and then uh, download it. So I'm just gonna type in find it and then H-I-R-E-G uh, and then so when I click on that you can see right here it says HiReg module for hierarchical regression. I'm gonna click on this button and then click here to install and so then the package gets installed and so then from from here on out, uh, it will, um, whenever you use the high rate command, it will be able to recall the, the procedures. So now, um, basically, in using the uh, commands, uh, you'll just type in high reg, and then you'll type in the, the name of the dependent variable, and then the, the names of your independent variables within their respective blocks. And the for each block is denoted by, um, or indicated by the parentheses. So for this illustration, let's say I want to um, predict achievement. Uh, in block one, I want to enter gender and subject matter interest. In block two, I want to add mastery goals and anxiety. So I'll just type in high reg um, achieve, which is the dependent variable. And in block one, I'm going to type in gender and subject matter interest. And then in block two, I'm going to add mastery goals and anxiety. So then when I hit enter, uh, I get my output, and so you can see that uh, I have, um, here's the R-square value for model one. This is incorporating gender and subject matter interest only. There's the F value, the P value. Um, you've got your regression coefficients right here, uh, and, and you know, uh, the P values associated with each of those regression coefficients um, to indicate whether or not we're, uh, you have a significant um, um, predictor in the model. Um, scrolling down, you can see that we have model two, and so variables in the model include all four predictors. So we've added in mastery goals and anxiety. The, here's the R square value, the uh, F, F value, and P value associated with the model. Uh, and so now we have all four of our predictors. So we've basically just added uh, these two um, variables to the previous model. So this was model one, model two contains them all. And then we have the p-values associated with these um, predictor variables. And you can see that uh, of the predictors, you know, mastery goals was not significant, but the other predictors um, were. So scrolling down a little bit further, uh, or looking down a little bit further, you can see you have R-squared difference so model two uh, minus model one. So it's just basically taking this R square value and uh, subtracting uh, you know, this R square value. So it's about 0 0.10 and we have the significance test of the change in R square. So uh, this is the, uh, you know, uh, this is the delta R square or change in R square, which is uh, 0.10 and you can see that it was statistically significant. So we have a significant increase in um, explained variance as a function of adding in uh, the mastery goals and anxiety predictors. But obviously, since mastery goals didn't really contribute anything, it looks like it's largely a function of adding anxiety uh, to, the, uh, to the predictors. Um, then you, you know, down here, you just have the basic uh, summary of that information above. There's the R squared for model one, R squared for model two, the F tests associated with each model uh, and their associated P values. And then the R squared change from model one to model two by adding in the predictors. So this information is really just that information right here. So that's just a, a quick uh, uh, illustration of how you can run hierarchical multiple regression uh, using uh, Stata.